Buddhism, Business, Bollywood, Culture, Commerce and Creativity. In many ways, India and South Korea are a perfect couple and looking to complement each other and help the other to fructify its true potential. As Prime Minister Narendra Modi travels to Seoul in May, the last leg of his three-nation tour, the focus will be on synergies between East Asia's economic dynamo and India, Asia's third largest economy. The Prime Ministerial trip will underscore the Modi government's active policy and is expected to pitch India-South Korea relations onto a higher trajectory. External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj's trip to South Korea in December last year has already firmed up an ambitious agenda for Mr. Modi's visit. When Prime Minister Modi sits down for talks with South Korean President Park in Seoul, there will be an array of issues on the table, making the nuclear deal work, trade and investment, manufacturing tie-ups, and collaboration in outer space and frontier areas of technology will be some of key issues that will dominate the leader's talks. The main agenda would be economic. And now if we see what are the priorities of Prime Minister Modi, they are really make in India and skill development. And I think third would be that in the defense sector, there should be more production and manufacturing in India. And in all these three points, Korea can be an excellent partner for India because they have already been active in India. Their companies have been very successful in India. They are very familiar with Indian market and uh, realities. And they can be a very good partner for Indian government and Indian people. The multi-layered relations between India and South Korea are underpinned by strong cultural bonds, ancient and modern. The relations span centuries and hark back to the twilight realm between history, myth and storytelling. According to a 13th century text, a princess from Ayodhya came to Korea, married King Kim Suro and became Queen Hur Hwang Ok in 48 AD. Many South Koreans till this day trace their ancestry to the royal couple. The ancient relations have effortlessly morphed into vibrant, multifaceted, modern partnership. On the business front, there is a marked upswing. Bilateral trade has exceeded $17 billion and has been spurred by the signing of a comprehensive economic partnership agreement. Iconic Korean brands like Samsung, Hyundai Motors and LG have made massive investments into India which are estimated to be over $3 billion. Indian investments in South Korea have already exceeded $2 billion. Currently, over 600 Korean firms have set up base in India. The Make in India mission is poised to get a boost, with South Korean companies showing enthusiasm for setting up manufacturing base in India, bolstering the country's infrastructure and collaborating in building smart cities. Looking ahead, the focus will be on matching core strengths to spur each other's rise. India's software prowess and formidable base in science and technology will complement South Korea's global competitiveness in hardware. The areas which are really ripe for more investment from Korea with manufacturing in India would be shipbuilding, both civilian as well as for our Navy. And the biggest potential, of course, is in the defense sector. But in civilian sector, in uh, power, in uh, telecommunications, they also manufacture a lot of equipment and more skill development. Culturally and spiritually, Buddhism provides enduring bond. Nobel laureate Ravindranath Tagore has acted as a bridge builder. A bust of Tagore was unveiled in Seoul in May 2011. Yoga's popularity is surging in South Korea and Indian dance forms like Kathak, Odissi and Bharatnatyam are finding new enthusiasts in the East Asian country. Bollywood, with its opulent song and dance sequences, as well as focus on family values, have a powerful resonance in South Korea. Educational exchanges are on the rise, and people-to-people -people contacts are growing by the day, with India looming high on Korean tourist itinerary, especially after it extended visa and arrival facility to Korean tourists from April 15, 2014. With this confluence of strategic and economic interests, the India-South Korea relations are itching to take the next big step. Prime Minister Modi's visit to Seoul will precisely do that, build on this all-encompassing partnership and inject it with renewed economic dynamism and strategic depth 
in emerging areas like joint defense manufacturing, cyber security, and maritime security. Expect Delhi Seoul bonding to become deeper and stronger in days to come.